Hello FM brothers and sisters, welcome to new episode of FM Tactics. If you are for the first time on this channel, check the other tactics and find the best one for your team. Also, don't forget to subscribe and support my channel. Ok, now let's speak about this tactic, let's check this tactic. And as you see guys, it's 4-1-2-2-1 formation. I have used this tactic with Braga in Portuguese league and I had really great results. Maybe this tactic is not perfect, but still works really nice. I mean, uh, this year in FM 2018, almost all the best tactics are with 3 strikers, 3 CBs. But maybe you're tired of playing with these kind of tactics. So, uh, this tactic is something else. I mean, uh, with this tactic, you really need to have great wing backs and you really need to have good striker. The most important positions, the most important players in this tactic are wing backs and, of course, complete forward. So, if you don't have some good wing backs, don't try this tactic. Yeah. Okay. Um, and as you see, um, as I said before, complete forward is the most important player. But if you don't have some great complete forward then maybe you should use a uh, false nine i have really good results with false nine there yeah and then on the left and right side we have inside forward support duty um they leave a lot of space for our attacking wing backs so mainly when you're attacking uh, inside forwards go something like that wing backs coming up and this is how you make most of attacks. So we are using both of sides and in most of situations we use wing backs for our attacking, yeah. Then we have Mezal attacking duty, he will, uh, he will help attack a lot and especially because he's an attacking duty he won't help defense. CM support duty, he will help defense of course and his main aim is to connect defense and attack. Then deep line playmaker defensive duty, he's someone who's going to protect the defense but in same time he's going to connect a defense with midfield. Then we have two CBs, I mean one ball playing defender defensive duty and the other central defender cover duty uh, one guy is chasing a bit the other guy is covering so they are nice they do a, they're playing with really nice i mean they cooperate really nice on the goal we have normal goalkeeper yeah okay now we are going to check team instructions let's see them and as you see guys it's control mentality in fluid team shape Tempo is normal, defensive line normal, we don't play with the officer traps because we have uh, one guy who is covering, the other guy who is chasing, so we can play with officer traps with this tactic. Then, closing down, sometimes use tighter marking and play out of defense. As you see guys, we are using both of flanks for attacking, as I said before, our wing backs are the most important players in this tactic. And this is why we want to use both sides. Yeah, play out of defense. We want to build attacks from our defenders. Then passing is mixed. And looking for overlap. Yes, of course. Our inside forwards always look for that option to pass on side to wing back. And work ball into box. We don't want to rush up. We want to be a little bit patient in creating chances. Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, what kind of results I made with Braga. And let's see some goals. So, as you see guys, results are just fun. We had a couple of great games and we had like two losers. But let's check first these good games. One against Sarajevo, for example, the qualification Euro Cup 6-0. Then we won against Dynamo Kiev 2-0. That was a really good game. Uh, draw against Benfica 3-3. Crazy game. Even game. Yeah, that was a really interesting match. Uh, then uh, draw against Porto. Won against Count. I mean, we lost two games. That was against Boa Vista and Chavez. I really don't understand how we lost from the worst team in league. Chavez, that was... Uh, we had like 19 shots. They had only 6, but they won 3-1. Uh, sometimes this kind of game happens, so it's okay. Anyway, now I want to show you how this tactic looks on the pitch. Let's see some goals. Okay, guys, this is a match against Cal, which we won 2-0, and this is our first goal. Now you're going to see why the wing backs are the most important players in this tactic. As you see, goalkeeper passing to left wing back. He's passing to our inside forward. Inside forward passing to our CM, support duty. He's changing side. Passing to the other inside forward. The other inside forward receives this pass, he's on support duty, and now he leaves a lot of space for the other wing back. The other attacking wing back. As you see, guys, he's already running up. And what is going on? 
inside for a passing Paulinho passing to Mezala Mezala to our uh, wing back wing back crossing striker Hassan and that's a goal that's a really great action and this is how you're going to score most of your goals this was match against Turkish team uh, in Euro Cup group stage Basak Shekhir which we won 4-0 really great game for us as you see guys ball is at our deep line playmaker Danilo he has the ball now he's passing to Mezala Mezala has the ball passing to our uh, false nine right now or complete four depends what you want to use then he receives the pass passing to inside forward as you see guys he's sitting very narrow and he leaves the space for our wing back attacking wing back again Paulinho has the ball inside forward passing to our wing back and as you see guys he's totally open he has a lot of space and he's crossing this time on the other side to our inside forward, left inside forward and that's a goal, really nice action, again our right wing back create a goal. So this is how this tactic looks on the pitch. Ok guys, I just want to say that I am going to put download links, you can try this tactic. And of course I want to hear how this tactic is working for you. So leave your comments and if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you with some new things and new tactics. Bye bye!